Hey Cancers, welcome back to INA5. This is Now we're going to be doing your June 22nd to 30th. Let's see the messages for you, Cancer. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and you what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. Or also about previous spells. And we have crystals, your intention charged, and high vibrational. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Check out my Instagram for more stuff. Cancer, let's see the messages for you. 22 to 30, what's going to happen for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs in Cancer? I am rising in Cancer. Now, uh, let's see. Okay. Right now, I feel like Cancer, when it comes to your work, you, you, you can see that things have started coming on track, okay? You got a little, like, distracted or you were feeling like you're putting a lot of efforts, but things are not coming the way you expect. The output is not as much as you expect. But what I'm sensing over here is that cancer, <clears throat> uh, your money is growing. Okay. Um, it feels like everything is coming on track. Finally, you can see manifestation started to take place and you can feel proud of your achievements. So that's the feeling that I'm getting. I'm also sensing one more thing, Cancer, that you've finally gotten over the past trauma. There's no one that you're dealing with from the past that can hurt you, that can affect you, or that makes you feel like you long for them, okay? So it's over. The separation is taken. And now the universe is saying you're ready for a new love to come into your life. So you may have met someone just now. For some of you, it feels like there was something that came into your life like for a really, really short span and suddenly it ended. Like there was an abrupt separation or ending with someone, okay? That has happened recently. But it's not that you got affected, but you definitely started hoping that maybe this is the one, maybe from here on my things, my life is going to change. Uh, I will be appreciated. Um, I will be committed, you know, stuff like that. But before anything could happen, I feel it ended at the right time to protect you. So in a way, universe protected you. So you're not bothered. You're not um, depressed or sad. Okay. There's a transformation in your life taking place. I feel like you're moving forward. That's a show. Immediately, you've uh, taking yourself back into action, you feel calm and collected and you're ready to move forward in your life by uh, cutting down on what does not help you by leaving behind uh, negative parties, negative experiences and the people that keep you hung up. So you are letting go of this. Without a doubt, I feel the struggle is gone. The struggle is over. Any kind of struggle that is keeping you stuck or hopeful but nothing is coming out of the situation you put an end to it it's a real ending it's not like you're a part of you is still expecting no you're ended this okay that's what i'm seeing for you cancer right now you just want to grow in your life you know you have transformed your life till now all by yourself and you have much more caliber to do uh, a lot more in your life in the near future so you're pretty proud of yourself that's what i'm feeling so someone is going through a heartbreak. I feel this person took you lightly and you showed them what taking lightly uh, means to you, Cancer. And I feel since the day you've ended this and you moved on and life has started to take uh, extremely good turns into your life, awesome changes in your life has started taking place. I feel you are on the side of positivity, but this person is suffering. This person is heartbroken. They miss you. They miss the connection that you guys have had. They miss the love that you guys have had. Okay. Or it, they were, they knew that you were the one that was bringing love on the table. Okay. So for you, it is like the moment, the day you ended this, the day you got out of this, everything came into, uh, you know, serenity with you. Everything went back to normal everything just turned around uh good for you so what i'm trying to say over here is that cancer as long as you were holding on to this you're getting yourself wounded and the moment you let go of the rope that you were holding on to you feel so much healed and this makes you feel so happy it feels like the tables have just turned and the one that was keeping you stuck is now getting wounded is now feeling rejected and harmed and 
hurt or wounded or heartbroken and you on the other hand are literally transforming your life working on yourself moving forward relaxed feeling relaxed and feeling happier so now they're seeing you in a different light now they can see you being in control of your life now they can see your real power they can see you're not a debbie downer you're a very powerful personality that they were messing with so what i'm seeing is that you have brought that positive change in in your life transformation the luck is changing the tables are turning everyone is watching you and is getting inspired by you but cancer right now you're inspiring yourself so what i'm seeing is your life is changing big time there's a completely new book that you writing and the new chapter of your life has started where exactly what you want is getting manifested your dreams are coming into reality you're feeling that butterflies in your stomach that there's something new that is coming in and i'm excited for it so cancer i'm definitely seeing you're in this high vibing energy you're ready for a new cycle in your life and you want want no drama so the tables have turned around on a drastic level it's like your energy is shoot up okay as if you've just had a boost okay um a booster drink or something so it just feels like that that cancer you have become so excited or energetic about what you are going to experience in your life rather than what the other person is giving you so you have started to learn how to give yourself and how to experience things for yourself and not for other people so you're in this energy of calmness you're in no hurry to get married there is no desperation here you do want to get married or get into a relationship but you're smart you are going to be taking one step at a time you're not in a rush though so there's a lot of patience patience on your side cancer i'm feeling you're in this energy where you may get approached for marriage because you're in this energy of stability you're in this energy of having a solid foundation laid for yourself feeling proud of yourself and getting achievements one after the other so whoever wants to uh know you wants to marry you so that's the energy that you will be giving off i feel like everything your energy everything changed with the energy that you've been sending out there you go your past is just not able to let go of you i feel the one that you uh, turned you're back on this person wants another shot they want to come towards you because they think that they can never have a better match than you they realized your worth since the day you left the situation they realized it but i feel like it's too late for you maybe you are not that interested i'm seeing they want a new beginning they've made a decision that they're coming towards you with a new beginning here i'm not seeing you being in this uh favor though but maybe for some of you you might give them a chance now it depends upon person to person i don't know what has happened in your past but what most of you i feel are going to experience is this you might give them a chance but what i'm seeing for sure is this person has realized your worth they could be a capricorn or leo or a libra and i feel three major arcana is clearly directing that this person is thinking about serious commitment now the question is do you want that I don't think so. You are like okay, you're keeping them waiting, Cancer. Oh, this will happen in the near future. I'm seeing you are the one that's going to keep them waiting because now the ball is in your court. You're not that interested and now this person has become more interested in you. The efforts are going to be from this person's side and not from your side. You're only showing positive energy. You're only showing a smiling face. You're only being you. okay you are only being positive while you're being you and that's the only work that you're doing that's making this person make extra miles go extra miles for you because you're sh shedding you're showing that positive light okay you're spreading that light so that light is what is making this person come towards you and it's energetic we're all made of energy so this person is learning about your energy right now they can sense that you're happy not like before I am seeing justice is being served. They know what they did was not right, and now whatever this is happening is because of their karma. It's because what goes around comes around. So I feel like this person is experiencing the sweet revenge, even without you taking any revenge. You know this karma is playing games with them now.
So you are in no rush and you are also open to new love. Libra could be very strongly connected in your charts. Do check out your astrology birth chart, which is free on uh, Google. Anywhere you can just type astrology birth chart and you'll get it. And you may have to put your time of birth and there you will see most of you. Libra is pronounced in your charts. If that is so, this reading is 100% yours. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm feeling like you're doing something big in terms of your career. You're coming up out with great ideas and creative um, skills. You are, you know, bringing out the best of you, of, of whatever you've learned till now. I feel one after the other, you're going to experience massive success. Everybody's clapping for you. Everybody is appreciating you. You might go seminars. You might start giving more presentations and people want to know how you did that so i feel very soon you will have a time like that because right now your major focus is towards this creative development some of you could be into research phds research doctors scientists like that but whatever it is it's like you guys are transforming something it's like you have that tendency to create so whatever your work is even if you're in a corporate if, even if you're a bank employee you're doing something creative into it which makes you stand out and gives you immediate higher position by your boss. So anything, I feel like we can put our creative skills in any profession, by the way. So you are putting your best foot forward in your own profession, whatever you're doing. And this makes you so excited. You're like, okay, now let's see what else is coming in my life. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I have that much of capability. I didn't knew about that. So you're shocked to see how good you are at your work. You're surprised. It's because you have gotten rid of that energy. You have gotten rid of that person or it's just that the connection that you are building up with that person, codependency connection, that is something that you started to disconnect from. And because of this, everything is coming for you the way you want it. So everything has started to fall in place and even better. You may end up blocking them because what they did is something that's still stuck in your head and you are not able to forgive. So that is fine. That's completely fine. I feel in this week, you will see this person begging for your attention and you will be making a lot of, uh, you know, use of your time in focusing in your dreams coming true. You want to focus on your money. You want to focus on your studies. You want to focus on your work. I am seeing there's a major turning point in your career that's about to take place because of your focus and attention yes you will be offered a dream job or a dream project or you might see a lot of clients a rush of clients coming towards you so there is massive change in your energy these days i'm also seeing you will be dating someone i am not sure whether you are going to allow this person same person but there's someone that is about to come in this week with whom you will be going out and dating and having a fun time with possible this is a person because they can they're definitely showing you that they're changing now it depends from cancer to cancer but what i'm seeing is you're getting a lot of appreciation from uh, love offers you're getting uh, compliments over compliments and you might go out on a date it's like a dream come true everything you wished for changed with one attitude of yours that is changing your mindset and becoming more positive that has changed the whole game here some of you this is an aquarius coming in i feel this person is in deep despair of what they did to you some of you this is 32 years old or age is just a number maybe they're older but what i'm seeing is they want to come towards you express themselves and tell you that what they did was absolutely wrong and they want to mend things with you so they might come with an expensive gift to convince you to like them you're more focused in your work i feel they might see you being too obsessed with your work and not giving them as much attention that you were expecting so that might uh backfire this person i feel like you could be older than them for some of you you don't trust them anymore you just don't trust them even if they've come back makes you happy but what doesn't make you happy is has this person changed i don't think so that's what you think okay for some of you maybe they have so you will put this person through the series of tests to be honest cancer you're not going to spare them you will put them through the series of tests before you actually make a decision that's how hard it's gonna get bad luck 
that guy or that girl. <laughs> they should have treated you right. Okay, I wish things could have been different. So you really feel bad for whatever has happened. Okay. What else? There you go. So you're in this energy of self-love and that makes them respect you and you've gotten out of this person's life. You've literally pulled yourself out of this completely and now they're shocked. They're feeling that passion and you never know that this person might offer you a wedding. If it's not this person, if you're releasing this person, if there's no space left in your heart, then I'm definitely seeing this new love is someone that you will be dating and then getting married to. Okay. And it's coming really fast. Really, really fast. All right. Yeah, you will be the happiest over here. I'm seeing you becoming so happy and excited about your marriage. It's going to be grand. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be you talking about, hey, how's my dress? You know, how do I look? Or how does my person look? So it's like there's so much of joy in you. You are not able to control yourself. That's how things are going to be. So whatever disappointments you've had, universe is paying you back tenfolds with interest. So life is a series of shifting cycles. So everything does not remain the same throughout. So this is what you're experiencing. Now this is your time and it's, it's your time to live and experience a life that you always wanted to experience. Cancer. It's time for you to make a decision. I feel like this person will definitely put you in this confusion here and you will take your time deciding what you want here, okay? It's not gonna be easy, but it's not that difficult as well. But yes, you'll be making some sort of a decision whether should you date this person or you should give another person a chance? That is a decision you will be making. Cancer. When it comes to your money, everything is on track. Okay. Your spirit guides are excited. Stay strong in your faith. If you believe in something, you can do it. That's the message for you. One more, please. Yes, you're becoming more smarter and bold and making the first move regarding whatever you want in your life. I feel like this person is going to give the key to your hand, key in your hand and tell you whatever you want, um, you can do, you know, like that. So they have given the control of their life to you. The signs that are coming in towards your cancer you have another cancer. You're the boss these days. You decide whatever you want. You have a Sagittarius coming in. You have Aries coming in. These are the signs that are coming in, actually. Aries, Sagittarius, and Cancer. Let us see your four sign reading. Aries is in love already. They're making an offer towards you real soon. Okay. Taurus is thinking about deep marriage, deep marriage. Gemini. Gemini wants marriage as well. Wow, such straight reading. Cancer is uh, going, gosh. They're not able to take any decision, but they like you. Then we have Leo wants commitment here. They're coming towards you with an offer. They want to manifest you. Virgo. Virgo is obsessed with you, maybe your body. Libra. Libra wants to marry you, but they're confused whether you like them or not. I feel their family might not be agreeing, but they're sure that they want you. Scorpio. Scorpio is taking one step at a time. They're scared of getting hurt. Sagittarius. And they're also finding it difficult to make a decision for themselves. They're so burnt out. Sagittarius is already thinking about marriage here. They will talk about it. 
Capricorn sees you as a dream person and they feel like there's mutual love here. There's a lot of love here. Aquarius is, I feel like, okay, let me see one more. I feel like the Aquarius thinks that you have someone else and you might not be that interested in them. Underconfident energy. Pisces is contemplating reaching out to you whether it is going to be the right time for them or should they wait. That's what they're thinking. So yeah, see, I was telling you about this thing. I feel like this person left you for someone else or they were confused because there were two options, one, you, another one. And they were talking to both and you f felt that and you left the situation and this person wants to come back and you're like, no, I'm not interested. But this person wants to tell you, hey, I'm sorry, whatever I did, I want you back. So you can have this conversation. Uh, someone is a doctor here, chartered accountant, um, lawyer, some sort of a practitioner. But I feel this person is a nerd or you're a nerd or one person is too much of an extrovert, likes to travel a lot. This person is a frequent traveler. They could have C and I in their name. Okay, so this is the message. So what I'm seeing right now is they want you back. That's a very clear message of them wanting you back. I'll see you back again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and send some love to this stream so that you can boost the reading up with more energy to help you manifest your dreams and to help it resonate with you in the next read. I'll see you back again. Bye.